around. It's all in Icelandic, but I think I know what this is. I think. Happy birthday to me. It's probably a request to come and get a mammogram. Let's Google Translate it and just check. Yep, okay. Let's just make the appointment now. No putting it off and just uh, get on with things. Gone down, fair gay, tell it in school. Yeah, I need to make an appointment for a mammogram. Yeah. Uh, yes, I can, <laughs> yeah, I can come tomorrow. Yep. Yeah, takala. Okay, bless, bless. Let's do this. Okay, I've arrived at the place. I found it pretty straightforward, so I hope that was okay. I feel really nervous though. I think it's more because I've never done this before and I have no idea what to expect. And I'm sure it's gonna be so straightforward and totally fine. I guess, like I normally put things off. I am pretty bad at that. Ingmar was right in making me phone up this morning, but I also think that because the appointment is the day after I received the letter saying that I have to go for a mammogram, then it means <laughs> I've got no real time to worry about it and get myself wound up. But I spoke to my mum earlier just to kind of go over the family history because I, my grandfather on my mum's side had cancer and my aunt on my dad's side also had breast cancer. So there is a slight family history, but it's not direct, like it's not my mum or my dad. So hopefully everything's going to be fine. But yeah, it's always those unknowns, isn't it? But let's just get on with it, do it. And then I'm going to treat myself to a nice coffee after this. I did it. <laughs> and of course, it was nothing to worry about whatsoever. It was so easy. And I think the whole thing took probably four minutes, if that. It took four different images to each side and then that's it so I have to check back it takes up to three weeks to get the results um, and they will let me know if there's any problems but she said that because it's my first ever scan they could call me back because normally they compare with previous images but because they have nothing on their file then they might <laughs> they might need me to go back and do it again, which is fine. It was actually, I mean, this is, it's kind of like a private thing, I suppose, because we, we don't really have like a national health care here in Iceland. So you do have to pay, I think it was like 4,300 krona, which is about 30 pounds, which is fine. It's not that expensive, but I do feel like that and the smear test we really shouldn't have to pay for. But that aside, it was a very pleasant place. So I went in, registered had to have the mask and gloves on sat down waited for five minutes nervously with some other icelandic women who were talking about how like they were obviously nervously joking but one of them said that um it feels like your husband has driven over your breasts which is so not true it was nothing it really wasn't that uncomfortable or painful at all um and then we went in and you get a changing room where you take off your top half and then you put on a gown and then you sit outside until they call your name which just takes a minute and then the rooms are like a spa honestly my room there was a room that was pink uh there was a room that was blue and my room was green so it was all green lighting inside the little square room and a girl just sat behind the screen doing the scan and the other woman came over and just kind of rearranged me um, and then this little plastic robot um, takes your scans, takes the images. I thought it was going to be metal and really really cold and uncomfortable and it was plastic, the corners are all smooth, you don't really you can't really bash anything there's something to hold on to you just as she said the key to making it feel comfortable is to relax your shoulder and so i did that and it was honestly it was fine and it was over and done with within a couple of minutes and that was it done oh yeah and one of the walls they were painted white and one of the walls had printed texture on it i could see into the other rooms and i had one that was like a frosty grass kind of scene so they were <laughs> there was one that was pebbles they were like a spa it was very nice um so yeah not a, not at all a difficult experience 
and basically what I wanted to say was to just encourage you if you are due to have a mammogram please just do it get it booked in don't delay it anymore don't put things off just get it done for the peace of mind and the four minutes that it takes just book in please just book in and get it done because that was fine i don't even feel like i really earned a coffee now that was nothing <laughs> might go and have one anyway though so.